Congratulations on the purchase of your N Plus Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One road bike. Your road bike has been built specifically to suit your sizing requirements and for your convenience, your bike is delivered to you mostly assembled. This quick start video contains a few steps to complete the assembly of your bike. Make sure you read your quick start guide supplied also prior to commencing assembly and riding. If you need support with assembly, please reach out to our support concierge service by emailing the link provided below or head to nplusbikes.com to search for a service center near you. Step one, unboxing. Please note you will need the following tools to complete assembly. Round tip scissors or snips, torque wrench, Torx T25 screwdriver, three, four, five, and six millimeter hex tool. Start off by carefully removing any tape and straps from the outside of your bike's box and remove all parts and accessories included with your bike. Now take your bike out of the box carefully, place the bike on a bike stand or on a protective sheet laid out on a clean floor. Gently unwrap the bike and cut all the zip ties. Please use round tipped snips or scissors to remove the protective wrapping and zip ties to prevent scratching the bike. Twist the handlebars into a forward facing position Step two, installing the handlebars. Now carefully slide the handlebars onto the forks and over the headset spacers and gently press down until achieving a snug fit. Next, take the carbon spacer and place it on top of the handlebar. Then using the torque wrench with the five millimeter hex head, tighten the bolt to four Newton meters. Now insert the rubber cap cover. Step three, installing the front wheel. First, remember to take out the disc brake protection insert, red plastic spacer, now carefully insert the wheel by lining up the wheel hub between the axle holes and enabling the disc rotor to slide carefully between the disc brake pads. Put the axle in them using torque wrench hex 6mm and tighten to 10 Newton meters. Check to see the wheel alignment is straight and there is minimal rubbing on the disc brake pads. Step 4. Installing and tightening the stem bolt. Now it's time to tighten the stem bolt. Carefully align the stem and front wheel so that they are straight. Tighten the two stem bolts using the torque wrench with a 4mm and a 6mm hex wrench and tighten to 5 Newton meters. Check that it is sufficiently tightened so that you can't easily turn the handlebar while gripping the front wheels with your knees. Step 5. Installing the seat post. There are three parts required to install your seat post. First, slide the rubber seal onto the seat post. Apply a thin layer of carbon paste to the area of the seat post below your desired clamp height avoiding the rough area on the seat post. Using your index finger, slowly insert the seat clamp inside the frame with the bolt at the bottom and the curved surface facing away from the top tube, being sure to push it towards the top tube until it falls into position. Take your time, it can be a bit tricky to place the clamp in a flush position without dropping the clamp into the frame. It is important that the clamp is flush with the inside of the frame to allow for smooth installation. Gently tipping the bike forward may help to keep the clamp flush while the seat post is being installed. Tighten the single C-clamp bolt using the torque wrench set to 6 Newton meters and the Torx T25 tool. Important, do not try and complete this without the torque wrench as this can damage your bike. Step six, installing the bar mount. First, unscrew the two bolts under the handlebar carefully using the torque wrench three millimeter tool. Place the two supplied bolts into the mount. Screw the bolts back in using the torque wrench and three millimeter bit. Tighten to two Newton meters gently and note that the bolts can snap if they're over tightened. Step seven, installing the bottle cage. Start by unscrewing the bolt using the same torque wrench and three millimeter tool. Then taking the bottle cage, place it onto the bike in a desired position. Screw in the bolts carefully using the torque wrench with a three millimeter bit and carefully tighten to two Newton meters. Step eight, brake check. Check your brakes are operational by spinning your front and rear rims while checking the brake levers. Step nine, inflate tires. Your bike comes equipped with limited edition Pirelli tires with a Presta valve. To inflate, remove the valve cap, twist the top of the valve slightly, and inflate the tires to the recommended PSI outlined in your user manual. Your personalized Mercedes AMG Patronus limited edition bike is ready to ride. Thanks for watching.